37 Central, updated 20 is going to be University and Espino. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm going. It's going good. How are you? Doing all right. And Officer Don't Lost Cruz Police Department. The reason why I stopped you is I was following you for a little while. Oh, I was you. texting my boyfriend. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really concerned right now. Okay. Could I was you... just texting him. I'm so sorry. I okay. didn't mean to swerve or nothing like that. Do you have your license registration insurance with you? This is my dad's Jeep, so I believe everything's in here. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm so sorry. I can't deal with this right now. Like... What's going on? I was just texting my boyfriend. I was so worried. I'm not okay. under the, the influence of anything. I was just texting my boyfriend. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you have your license registration insurance with you? This is my dad's Jeep. Okay. But, yes, I do. Can you grab it for me? Yes. This is my, in, my license. I... I don't exactly know where that's at. Um, my wallet was recently stolen, so and I just got it back today. So. Okay, so you don't have your ID with you? Um, I think I might have a photo of it, if you want me to show you that. Okay, yeah, go ahead and work on that. Um, so you don't have the insurance or anything with you? I currently don't know where that's at. Um, this is my dad's Jeep, like I said. Um, you could take a look at all of that. Okay. don't know. Okay. So, I want you to know part of the reason why I stopped you was because, like I said, I was following you on university and I seen you, you were bouncing all over the lane. Yeah, that's because I was texting. Okay. Have you been drinking tonight at all? No. no? Where are no, you sir. coming from? I am coming from my friend's house, sir. From your friend's house? Yes, sir. All right, Marissa. Yes, sir. So, Right now, the only thing that's concerning me is just the way that you were driving on the road. I understand. I was texting I, and driving. I understand you were texting and driving. And I am aggravated right now. Why are you aggravated? Because I was texting and driving. You pulled me over. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But you, under you understand why I pulled you over, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And so, like I was saying, my main concern right now is the way you were driving mm -hmm. um, and just the way you're acting. It's a little, it's a little abnormal. I know, I would, I'm would. i just really mad right now because I have been pulled over by so many cops right now. Okay. Lately, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go off on you like that, sir. Okay. So what I want to do right now is I just want to run, run you through a couple of different tests just to make sure you're okay to drive. Sir. Would you want to do that? <sighs> sir, I go to NMSU. Okay. I'm an NMSU student. Okay. And like I said, right now, I just want to run a couple of different tests on you just to make sure you're okay to drive. Okay? Well, if you... Are you gonna send me to jail again? Like? No. Well, like I said, right now I just want to run a couple of different tests on you just to make and sure you're okay. And what if I don't pass? Well, I mean that's a different story. What we're looking right now is I just want to make sure you're okay to drive. If you're okay to drive, then everything's gonna be fine. Yes, sir. Okay. So would you go ahead and do the test? Yes, sir. Okay. You could just go ahead and step out for me. They're making me do a test, babe. Can you hear me? Okay, they're making me do a test right now. You can go ahead and leave your keys in the vehicle. Or you can put them in your pocket, whichever's comfortable. Can I put them right here? That's fine. Okay. Let's go over here to the saddle. Okay. Can you hold on this? Alright, go ahead and put your phone in your pocket for me. Yes, sir. Do you wear contacts or anything like that? No, sir. Nothing? Okay. No. All right, so what I want you to do, do you see the tip of my pen? Yes, sir. All right, so with your eyes and your eyes only, mm -hmm. I need you to go ahead and follow the tip of the pen. During this test, I okay. need you to put your feet together with your heels and toes touching. Okay. Arms down by your side, okay? Mm -hmm. Like I said, the tip of the pen, just follow it, all right? Okay.
right. Uh, Alright, so for this next test, what I want you to do, go ahead and stand with both your feet together, heels and toes touching, arms down by your side. Okay. And what I need you to do is imagine a straight line coming out of your left foot right in front of you. And go ahead and place your right foot in front of your left foot with your heel touching your left foot. So it'll look like that. And how many steps forward? Just go ahead and get in this position. Other way. Put your heel directly in front of your toe. So during this test, go ahead and keep your arms down by your side and stay in this position until uh, you begin the test, okay? Now what you're gonna do on that imaginary line coming out of right in front of you, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps, looking down at your feet and counting those steps aloud. Okay. When you get that ninth step, you're gonna take a series of small steps, turn around, turning around back on that line, continue with uh, another series of nine steps. Okay. Again, throughout this whole thing, you're gonna be counting your steps out loud, looking down at your feet. That's right. I'll go ahead and demonstrate the test I'm for sorry, you. I'm sorry, I have so much anxiety right now. Okay. Go ahead and get back in the position. You're making me so. You're making me have some anxiety right now. I understand. Just go ahead and get back in the position. Yes, sir. So your right heel is going to be touching your left toe. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and make them touch. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the test for you. Okay. For demonstration purposes, I'll be taking three steps. You'll be taking nine. Okay? Okay. So it'll look like this. One, two, three. The series of small steps. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Once you start the test, don't stop until you've completed. Okay. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions before you begin the test? You may begin. Make sure you're counting out loud. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. All right. So for this next test, go ahead. And Can I just go to my dorm tonight? Do I have to go to jail tonight? So we've got one more test for you, okay? I'm just gonna go to jail. Do you want to continue with the tests? Yes, sir. It's just I am on pills right now. Okay. Do you want to continue with the last test? I don't know, sir. Can I just please be taken to my dorm? So I need a yes or no. Do you want to continue with yes. the test? Okay. I cannot go to jail. I go to NMSU. Okay. I cannot be sent to jail again. All right. Well, like I said, we've got one more test, okay? Go ahead and stand with your feet and toes touching. Arms flat down by your side. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to lift one leg of your choice, either leg. You're going to lift it directly in front of you, keeping both legs straight with mm -hmm. your foot approximately six inches off the ground, mm -hmm. keeping your foot parallel to the ground. Okay. While you're doing this, you're going to look down at your foot and you're going to count out loud in this manner. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, until until told otherwise. Yes, sir. So again, either foot of your choice, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, and so on, until told to stop. Yes, sir. Do you have any questions before we begin no. the test? You may begin. Is it one? Look down at your foot. Look down at your foot. Keep going. Keep going until I'm told to stop. I took my, I took my sleepy time medicine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sir. Okay. It's to help me sleep at night. All right. Uh, you can stop. Yes, sir. Just go ahead and place your hands behind your back. So tonight you're gonna to be under arrest for DUI. What am I? Can you listen? Can I call oh. my boyfriend? Please. You can call. You can make a phone call here in a second. I just went to jail already. I already got to MSU. Eleven thirty-seven Central. Can you log one female fifteen? Sir, I'm scared right now. I already went to jail recently. I'm sorry. 
Just go ahead and stand on the side right here. Please, just... please call him. I'm scared. I'm scared. Please. I'm scared. Do you have anything in your pockets? Yes, I have my phone. Please, can I? Is there anything else in your pockets? I go to MSU, sir. Please. Is there anything else in your pockets? No, sir. Okay. Just go ahead and stay right there. Am I gonna be able to go to MSU again? I so I don't deal with anything involving the school. I cannot go to jail again. I'm sorry. I go to NMSU. I'm an NMSU student, sir. Well, I understand that, but you shouldn't have been drinking. That time. I wasn't drinking. Well, I can. I can. I could smell it on you. The way you're acting. Can you touch my pocket? It's in my yeah, pocket. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this key off your coconut. Okay? Yes, so how long am I gonna be in jail for? I have to go to NMSU again. I'm sorry, but I have to go to school. Do you know how long I'm gonna be in there for? Uh, Sir. At least until the morning. Are you sure? Because I already went to jail for a misdemeanor. Let's go ahead and have a seat. Yeah, I want to say that. Yeah. Alright, Marissa, do you have anyone that can come pick up your vehicle tonight? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? I don't know if I'm in my boyfriend's you have him in, in phone is up there. Okay. We can give him a call here in a second. So Sir, you... I have to go back to NMSU. I already went to jail once. I have to go back. Okay. Can I go back tomorrow, please? Like I said, um... I cannot go back to jail. I already just got released. After three days. Can you please talk to me, sir? I'm sorry. Can I you cannot... still open your mouth for me? I just please want to make sure that there's nothing in there. Lift up your tongue. Lift up your tongue. Turn your head to the your right, your other right. Sir, please, can I go back to NMSU? Eleven thirty-seven. The next can you start that time? Can you just answer my question? I'm scared right now. I'm scared. I understand. Can you just answer my question? Can I go back? Sir, please. I was doing so much better. All right, so I'm going to read this to you, okay? I go to NMSU. All right, so listen, I'm about to tell you something. You're under arrest for DWI. Misdemeanor? Uh, is, is it your first time? Oh, sir, I went to NMSU, okay. and I just recently so got out of jail. So listen to me, I'm about to tell you something, okay? Hmm. You're under the, you are under arrest for DUI. Sir. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. Mm -hmm. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional, additional independent test. Am I going to jail tonight? If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or a technologist who is, employed, who is employed by a hospital or physician of your choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for, or will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Well, sir, I cannot go back to jail. That's what I'm saying. So I need to go back to NMSU. I go to NMSU right now. Do you agree to take our test? Well, sir, what? Am I going back to jail? So this is for the breathalyzer. Okay. Okay. Let me read this again. Okay. Yes, sir. You're under arrest for DUI. Mm -hmm. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. Mm -hmm. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory, hospital, or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. Mm -hmm. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by law enforcement agency. Yes, Do you agree to take our test? And what does that mean exactly? If you're willing to submit to a breath test. Yes, well, will I be going to jail if I don't? If you don't what? If I don't pass. So, to take the test, it's up to you. Do you want to take the test or no? Yes, sir, but will I be going to jail again? I cannot go to jail. I go to NMSU. I'm an NMSU student, okay. sir. 
Like I said, tonight you're under arrest for DUI, okay? So you're so going to be going to jail tonight. For how long? Am I a misdemeanor or? Is it, well, I already is, recently got arrested and I. Was it for DUI? No. It was for something else. It was a warrant for something else. Okay. So do you agree to take the test? Yes, sir, but how long am I going to be in jail for? Okay. So you'll take the test, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me, can you get my phone? Yeah, we're gonna get it right now so that way you can call your uh. I'm so scared. I was literally just texting and driving. Is this who you were on the call phone with? No, sir. Okay. I don't know who that is. Can you call my boyfriend back? Tap baby right there. Right here? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Just tap baby. Looks like he's calling right now. Yeah. Answer. Just ask him if he can come pick up your car. Hey, can you come pick up the Jeep? Where are you at? I am being arrested right now. I know, but what is your current location? Uh, what is my current location, sir? Espino and University. Espino and University. Okay, I'm on my way on my bike. Okay. Thank All right. You. All right, so we'll leave the keys. Um, Sir, how, approximately how long am I going to be in jail for? Ma'am, it all depends. So, again, you're going to have it, you're going to see a judge tomorrow. And then, depending on what time you see him, they're going to let you. Uh, I already have court on May 20th, so. All right, well, that that's a different case. Again, like he said, tonight you're just being uh, arrested for. Are you sure I'm going to see the, ju the judge tomorrow? Because I have class on Wednesday. So, tomorrow. Well, more than likely, you're not going to make it a class. Because, again, you're going to be booked at the detention center. You're going to see a judge tomorrow. I, I can't have tell to you go what to class time tomorrow. or how long you're going to be in jail for, but again. I have to go to class tomorrow. All right, then. Sounds good. Do you have any more questions? No, sir. No. So, more than likely, am I going to go to class tomorrow? Do you know where your, do you know where your boyfriend's coming from? <sighs> RGH Storm, sir. So, we shouldn't be that far out? Alright, go ahead and step up. Can I ask you a question? Sure. So if I've been possessed with like alcohol but not a DUI, will I be able to go back to NMSU tomorrow? What was the question? If I've been charged with alcohol but not a DUI, will I able to will I be able to go back to NMSU tomorrow? What do you mean? Because I need to go back to NMSU tomorrow. Let's go ahead and go to your left. And go ahead and have a seat. Because I was charged with alcohol. You were? Yeah, for something like a different situation. Like for drinking or possessing? Possessing. I just got really sick. I just need to go back to the tomorrow. Okay. Oh, so do you know if I'm being charged with a misdemeanor? Uh, depends on uh, what the breathalyzer is. Depends on how much uh, when you you blow on the breathalyzer, the alcohol content level. It depends how much did you have to drink. I have roughly around three shots earlier. What type of shots were they? Like vodka. Vodka. Okay. Yeah, because it just depends. What was the warrant you had for? The what? The warrant. What? You said you were arrested on a warrant, right? Yes, sir. What was it for? So, allegedly, I was running away from the police. Yeah, she went home. 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 She Like I said, like we've been telling you, you're going to go to the bridge in the morning. 
But am I considered a misdemeanor or a felony, sir? It's a um, misdemeanor. So during this, I'll go ahead and take the handcuffs off the car. You said right now it's considered a misdemeanor? You're clearly a bond. Then you're clearly a bond. What exactly does that mean, sir? So I don't see. What is it? What exactly does that mean? What do you mean? Am I considered a misdemeanor? You said as of right now I am. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I need to go back to school tomorrow, sir. Okay. I have then. work. I'm scared. Hi, right, step up. Not yet. Just remember it's gonna be a big deep breath and just keep blowing until I tell you to stop, okay? Yes, you can do it now. Okay. Go ahead. Go. You're gonna have to do it harder, man. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and stop. No, no, you gotta no. you gotta you gotta take a big deep breath and you gotta blow hard, okay? Until the beeping stops. Go ahead. Keep going. You have to keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's good. Okay, you stop. Alright, same thing. Big deep breath and keep going until you, until you stop. Keep going. Let's go through this. Yeah, two. I just two. Alright, we're gonna go back in the room. I'm gonna miss you, ma'am. I just can't tell you. It's not gonna be tomorrow. It's not? Maybe in the afternoon, but not for your morning classes. Oh, uh, I have class at 5. 5 p.m.? Yes, sir. Maybe. So, sometime in the afternoon, I'll see the judge. Yes, ma'am. Alright. Red man. And send it. Off, you know. I'm just gonna put this up on your shoulder so I can.
probably need you to take the jacket off. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much.